to use a triple beam balance, you need to make sure that the line lines up so it's balanced. So when you first get your triple beam balance, press down on the balance in itself and make sure that the lines line up here. Um, this makes sure that the balance is now leveled with nothing on it. Once you have that set, you can put the item on top. Once you put the item on top, you want to start with the largest, a slider. Okay? So in this case, if you put down 100 grams, clearly it's not 100 grams because the, the lever falls below uh, the leveling point. So we can move the middle slider and see if we can find a mass that works. So since that dropped, we know it's lower than 40, and we'll put in 30. And notice the notches on the bar. You want to make sure that the slider is in the notch. So if we continue here, we know that um, it's somewhere between 30 and 40 grams. We can start moving the lowest slider. So as we move the lowest slider, we'll start to notice that the lever will start to lower and get to a point where we can line up the line on the side. So this looks relatively balanced. You want to try your best to make sure that it's completely leveled off there. Just like that. So now that we have our mass, we can record it. So any type of measurement that uh, you get from a scale, you want to make sure you put into your lab journal. So in this case, if you read it, it looks like 35.8. Now you can roughly um, do an estimation based upon what you see. Uh, in this case, it looks like it's between 35.8 and 35.9. So because of that, you can either say 35.8 or 35.85 grams. Okay, Make sure you include your units. So see how it's right in between? So you can record it. Uh, either way. You just want to be as close and precise as possible.